Hello, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning light on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see some more information about the switch statement. In the last tutorial, you know, I told that in switch, the expression uh, has to be a uh, integer value, or the expression should result in some uh, integer value. So, this expression can be a character also. So let me explain you first and uh, let me tell you the reason you know, why we can uh, use this character here. So I'm going to create a, a variable for of type character. It's going to be char. I'm going to say ch and uh, I'm going to write uh, this character here ch and I'm going to write a case which is called uh, okay let me add in this character with a value uh, a. So here we need to write this a here then we're gonna write the printf statement mm, like uh, um, case a then um, uh, a new line and we, we're gonna use the break here break and save this and uh, compile using control f9 and run it so as you can see here case a so uh, here we have used a character uh, then we use that in the expression you know expression uh, statement this is because when we store this character a computer actually stores this ASCII value of this character of in this case is the character A and the ASCII value of this capital A is 65 and the 65 is stored in this CH and the 65 is a uh, integer value so here it also uh, you know equal to 65 and because of that our uh, you know this uh, mm, program ran without any error so uh, to show you that I'm gonna use a printf statement here printf then I'm gonna write uh, uh, percentage D to print the ASCII value of this uh, you know uh, the character A then add a new line and here I'm gonna reference the variable ch this ch is of type character but uh, you know this time we want to print the uh, ascii value stored in that character so it's gonna be um, you know percentage d save it control f9 and uh, run it as you can see here 65 that's because the, you know the ascii value of this capital a is 65 so close it another thing i want to tell you is you can combine two or many cases one or more cases you know to execute the same code here we're gonna write a case for a small a then we need to add a colon here then here we're gonna write the case a or small a so now what happens is when if this character contains capital A or small a this printf statement will be executed because you know we have specified that you know for the this small a and capital B we want to execute you know the same code so save it control F9 and control F10 as you can see here case A or small a now I'm gonna make it a uh, small a save it control compile it and run it so same thing case A or small a another thing is uh, you know as I told in the last tutorial this switch is somewhat similar to the if else statement but the difference is in switch this expression can't be a floating point value so we can use only a integer or a character so as we have seen here so if you use a float here you'll get an error so but in the if else you can you know uh, use these float values to test the condition okay the last thing i want to tell you in switch is uh, if you're going to write uh, more statements here and if you want to make a block of them then you can write this opening and closing braces so I'm gonna write like this. This is not gonna result any error within this, you know, opening and closing curly braces. We are just, uh, you know, making a block of code. So, you know, just for, you know, uh, to read this code easily. Save it, control F9 and run it. So, no problem, same thing, no errors. So, this is it, guys. This is about the switch statement in C. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. Uh, you can like my Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash learning light and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel